That, that's what oh, I messed up. Fuck help, out. Dude, help me. You're uh, doing you're doing chess. Hello friends and family, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany and I make videos about my life here in Austria. In this video, I'm going to dive into the biggest topic that's been going around since I think the summer. And it's being that so that Austria is one of the most unfriendliest countries in the world. Nice. Yeah. And I must say, before I get into my opinion, which will be at the end of the video, I am more so, how should I say, on the fence of that, if that being true or not, but we'll go into that at the end of the video. So I wanna talk about why and how this came about. So there was this big article that came out from Internations, and Internations is this like big ranking system, I believe, that kind of got into a lot of the, how should I say, research from a lot of expats, which means expats is people who had a citizenship or from their birth country, a citizenship from there, and they moved to a new country and they kind of um, got rid of or we would say um, renounced their citizenship in their old country and moved to a new country and they're called expats. I'll just, I'll just say foreigners. And they got a lot of their I should say ideas or their opinions and they put it into this huge like calculated system and they it came to find out that Austria is 52nd of the most unfriendliest. So it's right almost at the, uh, at the end or at the last place of the most friendliest countries and it's kind of for me a little bit kind of shocking but also kind of understandable so what that research shows showed as well is more reasons as to why Austria is the most unfriendliest and I'll go into that right now and one of the big things in it is making Austrian friends here and I somewhat understand that because when I first moved here of course I didn't know anyone and slowly but surely I started meeting new people from Lucas from my family here and so it was kind of easier for me to make friends because I had them however if I was on my own and I had to meet new new people or try to make friends it's a little bit difficult and what I mean by difficult is when you are going approaching someone either it be in a cafe or a restaurant or just walking outside into the city center or somewhere else it's hard to approach them and try to get past that layer of professionalism so like this wall that I think I believe a lot of Austrians do have and it's kind of difficult to get past it because in America you meet someone and you're like hi how are you oh I'm great thank you for asking how are you oh I'm good you know it's just been a hard week really I'm so sorry to hear that and you carry on the conversation like this but here in Austria you really don't ask those questions to someone especially in a supermarket or a cafe or or just in general because it's kind of like a overall no-no here so it's a little bit difficult to meet people outside and when you do meet someone it's hard to get into their friend circle because here when you make friends you have friends that you have had since you were little in, in the elementary school or they would say the Volksschule or in the middle school or even in, in high school gymna gymnasium so it's a little bit difficult to get into those uh, friend groups because they're already solid so I would say I agree with it and it's just a little bit difficult <laughs> but but I, I hope that you know with me and other foreigners who are living here we can make friends because I think it's very important to have our own friends so I think it's I, I agree with that statement 100% and then to add on with the with that research what I was actually surprised to find out was that in, in Austria there's actually 12% of Americans 9% Germans and 5% Romanians. And what I mean by those percentages is that those are the people or the foreigners who got rid of their national citizenship and have now an Austrian citizenship. So it was actually pretty surprising to see that percentage and that's a high number for uh, for Americans being here, which I'm like, where are they? Marco, Polo! Marco, Polo! Marco, Polo! Marco, Polo! Marco, Polo. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I think most of them are in the bigger cities like Vienna or maybe in uh, Salzburg. So I'm not too sure um, where they're getting those percentages from or where they are uh, locally or where they are on the map. So I was very surprised by that. And with that and the research, it honestly also showed to as well, like percentages of the reasoning why people move to Austria. And the number one reason was for work. The second reason was for love. That's me. <laughs> and the third reason is for um, school or university. And now I'll get into the next point as to, you know, why um, I think or why Austria is one of the most unfriendliest countries also is because of the culture. So like I said before, you know, people have these long term roots or, or circles that are already like kind of close knit, very just like, okay, this is my, this is my girls, these are my boys kind of thing. And also what I mean by culture is when you're looking at a community, especially when I first moved here, the community here where I live in, on the surface, everyone kind of seems a little bit, sorry, a little bit grumpy. Oh. <laughs> and a little bit just like kind of stone faced. And what I'm, I think that is just kind of the, just the culture, how everything is, how they just are. But once you get past that professionalism that I mentioned before, once you get past that wall, it is such the most friendliest community that I've ever like been into or been in, especially coming from Japan and coming here. Like my mother-in-law is the sweetest lady. My sister-in-law is the sweetest. My family is the sweetest. The people here are so, so nice. So I think once you just get past that wall and past that unprofe or past that professionalism, uh, we call it vibe it's beautiful because they are so nice and so like taking care of each other that it's just beautiful to see so i think that's one of the big things especially is in the culture is that you know that stone face in the beginning but once you get past it it's just a mushy mushy center and they're very very loving and overall with the research it pretty much says that it's a lonely but beautiful quality of life and what I must say too, living here in Austria is very, very beautiful. Like the scenery, the places you can go on holidays, just everything about Austria, especially out in the, the natural landscape is just oh, breathtaking. However, like I mentioned before, with being kind of trying to find that friend group or find a community, it's a little bit hard and it can be lonely. However, with everything that's around you, there can be a positive out of being here, which is, like I said before, the scenery, but also trying to get through that barrier and that shell, hard shell that a lot of people have here in Austria. Okay, and now for my opinion, what I believe in when, since I've been living in Austria is I find it just incredibly wonderful. Um, what the Internations website said, I agree with some points and then I don't agree with other points and that's okay. Um, like I said before, it's my opinion. Being here in Austria has been wonderful. I have made a family here. I'm growing a family here. And the community where I'm living is just fantastic. There's so much love and support in this community that it's wonderful. And I will say, yeah, the friend aspect is, is getting better for me. I am making friends, especially mom friends. Mm -hmm. And it's wonderful because I'm making friends with the moms of the babies that are going to be hopefully be a Finn's friends. So it's just... How should I say, once you get into the community and really just try to put yourself out there, because it's, it's hard to try to keep going past or trying to get past that, that layer that some Austrians have. Once you get past it, it's a beautiful, beautiful relationship or friendship. So I say that, yes, <laughs> Austria is a little bit unfriendly, but majority of Austrians are friendly and I am loving where I'm at and then and this is my home and it will hopefully looking at Lucas it will continue to be my home for the rest of my life and I thank you for watching this video and I can't wait to see you in the next one bye